now, what do you know about Cleveland State, and um, what type of game do you forecast tonight? Uh, well, I know that Cleveland State, uh, they, they prepare well against Zion because they knew how to change their defense halfway through the game, so they know how to uh, stop the, the gay offense. Um, tonight, I'm thinking that you're going to find out real quickly in the game, at the very beginning of the game, who's going to keep the tempo. And once that's established, we're going to see who's going to take the lead. Uh, I believe the way USF is going to play it is they'll, they'll let the Vikings take the poison, and then they'll try to adapt to what the Vikings do. Because they, they, they're they okay with Cole starting off in the post and trying to score on the inside, or they're okay trying to go with their shooters and have maybe get some Avery, or, uh, Avery Holmes in there and uh, get some shooting in. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys play more of an up-tempo type of uh, style? Uh, well, the, last year defensively we kind of slowed things down, so I believe this year it will be more of an up-tempo aggressive type of shooting team. Uh, I actually expect a, a lower score in this game. I think if a team gets to something like 75 points, they'll get the win. Um, you guys were 15 and 16 last year, 7 and 9 in the conference. Um, is like postseason your expectations? Is that um, is that what you expect this year? Is that what you expect next year? What exactly do you foresee when you know the final tally is drawn? Well, I believe that um, the, I think the Dons will make the postseason somewhere. They're not they're not um, looking for anything different. Um, but the main goal would be getting into the NCAA tournament. That would be something that they would. They were aiming to do um, more. More, I guess the main goal would be getting into the WCC tournament and winning that championship because they want to win the conference championship. But from there, I have I have no problem saying I'm going into either a smaller postseason tournament or getting into an NCAA. Um, tonight, what type of crowd will be on hand? A couple thousand. Um, I think you're going to get a uh, you're going to fill up half of. War Memorial Gym tonight. A little bit, definitely more than we our first game because we played a D2 opponent. This time we're going to have some more people come in. Um, you'll you'll hear the uh, crowd get loud, but it's not going to be close to a sellout. Um, is this is an East Coast team coming so far away? Is this a anomaly, or have you seen this before? Well, last year we had St. John's come by, so um, we have seen some East Coast teams. We're going to go travel to uh, St. John's later this year. Um, I, I, we all put American, because American is going to be coming, I think they're coming in, we played them at uh, in Washington last year. So, did, uh, did the travel affect St. John's at all? No, it didn't, it didn't seem to affect that. We did beat St. John's, but we also did beat American. Uh, St. John's uh, played really well, but I think that particular night, the Dons really just beat St. John's. Uh, I, of course, have my concerns when they go over to St. John's this year. I mean, the Dons go to St. John's this year. Um, do you have any knowledge of, I haven't asked Coach Waters myself, is this a return game for San Francisco? I am not sure. That's something I could not determine. Well, I will let you know when they get back in town. Sounds good. I would love to hear it. Yeah, um, it, it's going to be an interesting matchup. I mean, I think these two teams are very evenly matched. Um, as you you did a pretty good uh, research of this game, and as you know, I mean, we have some transfers coming back. We have uh, Anton Grady returning from injury, and uh, this is a lot different team than it was last year. It's a lot deeper. Yeah, uh, USF and Cleveland State are, are big names, but this game is going to be a really good game, man. Uh, I think it's going to be a tight matchup. Yes, I agree, and um, I wish you guys success on the season. I obviously hope that Cleveland State's picks up a big road win, and then we'll be rooting for you the rest of the year, you know, as RPI and stuff like that starts coming into play. Yeah, we're all hoping for the best tonight, but absolutely, best of luck to you guys for the rest of the season. All right, I got my Red Bull in hand, and I'm ready to pull a pull a 1 o'clock uh, a.m. shift, and uh, hopefully they don't call too many ticky-tack fouls like they've been doing. All right, man, good luck tonight. Thanks for joining us. John Stapleton, um, He's an excellent writer. I, I caught with I caught up with him um, today and uh, on Twitter and uh, really appreciate it. Thank you so much.